Hello everyone and welcome to Lakeside and uh, today is going to be quite a short video um, and it's about the class 90 um, so let's crack on and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing to it Hello and welcome back. Right, so as I said, this is to do with the Class 90 uh, Backman model, which in my case is the Freightliner version. Um, and I thought that I would just show a quick video um, of removing the body, because there are some folk out there um, who have either attempted it and couldn't do it, or were too frightened to do it. Um, there's nothing at the moment, as far as I know, on YouTube or anywhere else describing how to remove the body of the Class 90. I may be mistaken on that but I've had a good search and uh, I can't find anything particularly informative. So I thought as I've taken the body off of this I would do a video showing how this is done. It's very very simple. Um, <clears throat> okay so the reason for taking the video, uh, sorry, for taking the body off um, my particular model was because A, I wanted to put a driver in the cab and B, the uh, servo for the pantograph was not working. So I wanted to just lift the body off and find out if I could fix it. I can't, it's broken. Um, and I will go into that at a later video showing how I am going to replace the servo. But this one is really just about removing the body so that you can add a driver, put extra details on it or whatever you want to do with it. Um, <clears throat> so first thing is to remove this plate here, which is the standard plate you take off for putting in a decoder. If yours hasn't got a decoder, you're going to have to take this plate off to put a decoder in it. Um, so there are underneath, i just close that pantograph up, there are underneath four screws, let's get my pokey thing, um, there are four screws, a uh, standard backman thing where there is a screw underneath each bogey, um, hopefully you can see uh, there's a hole there, now there's one there, one there, one there and one here. Undo those four screws and that lifts off. That then enables you, let's put that over to one side for a minute, <clears throat> that then enables you to take off the blanking plug uh, which it comes with and put your own decoder in. I've got a Lego Man Biff um, sound to to fit to this now and it sounds gorgeous um, so very pleased with that <coughs> the next thing you need to do is once you've undone those I, I have actually taken these screws out so I'm not boring you with that just underneath the center rear of each bogey one each side is a screw hole here and here and there is a screw in there which you have to undo and a screw in there you have to undo. And similarly, just in here, underneath that little gap just here in the center is another screw. You have to undo that. And likewise at the other end, just here, there is another screw. So there is a total of eight screws to take out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you've taken all those screws out, and I warn you, put them in order of where you've taken them from, because they are different sizes, especially the two front ones here, they are smaller. So once you've taken those screws out, <clears throat> that then releases the body hopefully. Now as I say I've taken this off 
release the screws so this should come off like so when you take it off you'll find that there are four connectors so if you want to actually release the body completely from the chassis it's just a case of unclipping each of the connectors like that <clears throat> now I, I've only undone three because the fourth one is here which is for the servo um, now the servo is located in here by four little screws and I've taken that servo out because it's broken let me grab it and I'll show you what I mean bear with me a second okay so that's the end which would normally be clipped into that socket just here okay and that's the servo there and you can see hopefully if I turn it upside down you can see from that let's get in focus there you can see a shaft sticking out where well, there should be a small spur gear which drives this spur gear here so that that axle there should have a tiny tiny white spur gear on it ain't, ain't got it <laughs> on my one so somewhere um, it might even be in the chassis but I don't think it is now um, I've given it a good shake and had a look and I can't see it <clears throat> but anyway that's what I've got to replace um, I was going to send it back to Backman um, but as I, I was uh, that's a whole other story and I'll do that in a, another video when I come to put the new servo in so that really <clears throat> now leaves you with the body so apart from the additional four screws one there one there one there one there it's the standard backman issue where you've got four screws here to lift the body off and it's as simple as that really no hardship at all um so i fitted the which end that end I fitted a driver in which you can see there and the way I did that was again just as per normal the cab interior here is held in place by a little clip here and here and it's just a case of easing the body away that way to release the cab interior from the main body shell and then it literally just comes out and then obviously you can then pop your driver in and decorate the cab if you so wish put a newspaper and a coffee cup on it like some people do I didn't go to that extent I just put the driver in and while it's all nice and easy to get to I've added detail from the accessory pack of the vacuum pipes on the front um, because it's a lot easier when it's a part like this to do than um, when it's all assembled there's also a blanking plate which you get to if you want to like I have taken off the NEM coupling um, it's only going to be used one end so this end is going to be the front um, so I don't need the coupling but that's your choice if you want two couplings one at either end that's fine then you don't have to do that but I wanted that um, with without the M coupling so they supply a blanking plate which gets screwed from the back ah, difficult to tell from there and you can see let's 
get me pointy thing uh, there you can see two screws there and there which screws the plate into position a bit fiddly but it can be done um, so with the cab driver in and the accessories added the vacuum pipes and the blanking plate then that's the front end complete the whole point about this video was really how to take the body off because as I say I couldn't find anything anywhere where it described how to do it so hopefully that's of help to you um, if you do want to take your body off the class 90 from Backman then that's it eight screws and off it comes okay so hopefully that's been of help to you and um, I will do another video showing how I replace this servo um, it's going to be fiddly but again it can be done uh, the worst part is hooking up the spring to the inside here to the that arm you can see moving which is the arm for the uh, pantograph um, <coughs> as regards the layout lakeside um, I haven't done virtually any work on it for about two or three weeks um, but what I have been doing is going up there and thinking through um, what I'm going to be doing on the, probably the last part of the layout which is the other side opposite the station platform area where the lake is and the manor house there's a lot of work to be done in that area so what I didn't want to do was to rush in with my previous thoughts when there could be other things utilized um, I'm trying to say I'm trying to say this without um, giving away what I should be doing um, but uh, I've done a will be doing a few changes up there um, along that one side and um, I think it will look rather nice when it's finished um, so again I will uh, I've got to prepare a few areas first before I start um, so bear with me um, but the next video will be probably this where I'm putting in the servo for the pantograph and then there will probably be another video after that a little while after showing work which I'm doing on the um, other side where the lake is the bridge has not been weathered yet um, but I'm not doing that until when I'm ready to do the lake and I'm not doing the lake until I've done what I, the new bits I want to do on that far edge so there's quite a bit of work left yet to do okay so I should stop rambling on be careful when you take this off um, obviously be careful of the pantograph be careful of these two little aerials at the end they're obviously prime for breaking off if you're not careful um, yeah and just take your time don't rush it okay so that's all for now folks uh, hope that's been of help to the people who have got class 90 and they want to take the body off all right so bye for now bye